The Renogy DC to DC battery charger is quite the sophisticated piece of electronics. It uses an MPPT type solar controller to maximize the output of the solar array. Then when the engine is running, it combines the outputs of the alternator and the solar array to provide the optimal charging voltage and current for your house batteries. So let's get it installed. Hi there, this is David and Marcy Lynn the Just a Little Further crew, and we're here with another how-to video. Hope you enjoy it. First, let's look at the connections. The solar array is connected to the negative terminal and the PV plus terminal. Make sure to include an inline fuse to protect the circuit. Note that the maximum voltage on the solar panel is 25 volts, which means that the solar panels must be connected in parallel. The negative side of the starter battery is connected to the negative terminal and the positive side is connected to the Alt Plus terminal. A fuse should be installed in the positive wire close to the battery. The negative side of the house battery is connected to the negative terminal and the positive side is connected to the Out Plus terminal. Again, you should install a fuse in the positive wire as close to the battery as possible. If you have the optional Renogy 1 core or BT2 modules, you will connect the RJ485 communication cable here. The battery temperature sensor, or BTS, cable is connected here. It's not used for lithium batteries. The optional battery voltage sensor is connected here. It's a worthwhile investment because the battery charging voltage is more accurate with it. Finally, if you have a smart alternator, you will want to connect the ignition plus wire to your vehicle ignition circuit. For the vast majority of vehicles, this wire isn't needed. If you do have a smart alternator, however, the charger will not always be able to sense when the alternator is running. If you aren't sure, it doesn't hurt to make the connection. To mount the charger, find a good location, then mark the top hole locations. Drill pilot holes and start the screws. Set the charger on the screws and install the lower screws. Tighten all the screws. I've rutted the wires and I'll connect all the negative terminal cables first. There should be three, one from the solar, one from the starter battery, and one going to the house battery. Next, connect any of the smaller wires you were installing. Connect the positive house battery cable between the out plus terminal and the fuse. Connect the positive cable from the solar array fuse to the PV plus terminal. Lastly, connect the starter battery positive cable to the alt plus terminal. Note that the small red wire seen here won't be part of a normal installation. This one powers my aftermarket backup camera. To set the battery type, Use the small button labeled Bat Type. As you change the battery type, the color of the battery type LED will change, corresponding to the table shown here. In this case, I've selected lithium batteries and the LED color is blue. Put the end caps back on. The house battery LED should be yellow or green. If it is red, there may be a problem as indicated in the table. If it's sunny, the solar array should be charging the house battery. Check the table for the charging status indicated by the LED. Start the engine and make sure the alternator is charging the battery by checking the alternator charging LED. And we're done. Make sure you read through the Renogy user manual for more information. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. If you want to see more of our how-to, travel, sailing, road trips, and trekking videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also blog and update our website regularly, so check us out at www.justalittlefurther.com. Bye for now.